Welcome to the Nova Road Coalition Community Event. Financial Project Identification, FPID number 450-644-1. The Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, is conducting a maintenance project for the segment of Nova Road, State Road 5A, from Flomich Street to US 1, a distance of approximately 3.91 miles. Maintenance projects provide FDOT an opportunity to resurface a roadway and make other minor improvements. The goal of this maintenance project is to rehabilitate the pavement while incorporating proposed safety improvements that may be implemented within the existing right-of-way. As part of this effort, the Nova Road Coalition was formed to study the corridor, identify issues, and engage the local community in identifying solutions that improve safety for all users. With a focus on the key segment from south of Granada Boulevard, State Road 40, to north of Wilmot Avenue, a distance of approximately 0.5 miles, the coalition is evaluating a variety of factors, including safety, speed management, and pedestrian and bicyclist mobility, to identify improvements that can be incorporated into this maintenance project. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Nova Road Coalition Community Event. My name is Erica Schellenberger, and I'm the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT. Thank you for joining us today. During the community event, we will present information related to FDOT's proposed improvements for the segment of Nova Road, State Road 5A, from Flomish Street to US 1. We encourage your feedback. During the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. All questions will be responded to after the community event and will become part of the project record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. This community event is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. In person at the casements in Ormond Beach, virtually on GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 450644-1. All participants, regardless of which platform they choose, will receive the same information. The purpose of tonight's community event is to explain the project goals, present the improvement alternatives FDOT is evaluating to help achieve those goals, and invite the community to provide feedback about the potential improvements, and to stay connected. This community event was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concern about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720, Dash six eight three four by phone at three eight six nine four three five zero seven seven or by email at m e l i s s a dot m c k i n n e y at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s you may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, Florida Department of Transportation Equal Opportunity Office, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or by email at ste fan.kulakowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location 
and in the community event notifications. This community event was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register, on FDOT's Public Notices website, on the project webpage, and in the local newspaper. In addition, a grassroots effort was conducted to notify the community and interested individuals. Let's talk about what a coalition is. Coalitions are formed to evaluate transportation solutions and develop concepts for potential improvements that can be incorporated into roadway maintenance projects. Coalitions are community-centric and engage the local community in developing solutions. This coalition is studying the Nova Road Corridor to identify issues and develop potential solutions that enhance safety for all users. Most importantly, this coalition provides the ability to implement safety improvements as part of a programmed maintenance project. Another major benefit of this coalition is that the design and construction are already funded. The coalition is a partnership with our community stakeholders. With this in mind, a project visioning team was formed, which includes key agency partners, the City of Ormond Beach, Volusia County, and the River to Sea Transportation Planning Organization. There are also numerous community partners along the corridor that are involved with this project and are providing important community input. We also want to hear from you, the public. Whether you live, work, learn, or visit this corridor, your input is important to the successful outcome of this coalition. To get started, let's review the study area, background, and goals of this project. The project limits for Nova Road, State Road 5A maintenance project are from Flomich Street to US 1, a distance of approximately 3.91 miles, and includes resurfacing and rehabilitation of the existing pavement and incorporating safety improvements within the existing right-of-way. The focus area for this coalition is a key segment of Nova Road, from just south of Granada Boulevard, State Road 40, to north of Wilmot Avenue a distance of approximately one half mile. The focus area was identified based on previous corridor study results, community input, and documented safety concerns. The proposed improvements that you will see later in this presentation have been developed to specifically address the issues identified within the focus area. The Nova Road Coalition was formed to study the focus area from a community perspective. This coalition is evaluating safety speed management, and pedestrian and bicycle mobility while considering land use, business access, and traffic demand. FDOT is engaging the community to identify solutions and help shape the alternative concepts that are being presented at this community event. Community-centric improvements that improve safety for all users will be incorporated into the maintenance project, which is already funded. Previous studies of the corridor and recent field observations were used to understand and identify issues in the focus area that will help define solutions-based improvements. Existing challenges and issues that were identified include bicyclists and pedestrians crossing mid-block in multiple locations along the corridor, lack of specific bicycle facilities other than signs advising drivers and bicyclists to share the road, limited areas of refuge to help pedestrians cross the road, and lack of crosswalk facilities in between the signalized intersections at Granada Boulevard and Wilmot Avenue, and obstructed sight lines for drivers at the intersection of Nova Road and Granada Boulevard, which create potential safety issues. Safety is a primary concern in the focus area. An analysis of crash history on the corridor since 2015 identified the location of five fatal crashes which are illustrated on this map. Three of those crashes involved vulnerable road users, one of which involved a pedestrian, and two involving motorcycles. This map illustrates all crashes involving pedestrians and bicyclists in the focus area during the same period. This crash history supports the need for improvements to address safety and bicyclist and pedestrian mobility in the focus area. Nova Road within the focus area includes three northbound lanes, 
three southbound lanes and a center turn lane for a total of seven lanes from curb to curb. In addition to issues noted previously, a common observation from local stakeholders is that vehicles drive too fast along this segment. Therefore, this project strives to implement speed management improvements that will help to slow vehicles down and address safety issues. Proposed improvements have been identified as solutions to achieve the goals of the project and address the identified issues within the focus area of Nova Road. These improvements are incorporated into two alternatives that are intended to address safety, speed management, and pedestrian and bicyclist mobility while maintaining the existing right-of-way width. The primary goals for the proposed improvements are to address identified safety issues through improvements with the goal of reducing crashes within the focus area, to provide for improved pedestrian and bicyclist mobility through expanded facilities that create a safer environment for all roadway users, and to implement appropriate speed management solutions that will help to increase safety by slowing vehicles down. Each of the two proposed alternatives for the focus area include the repurposing of one travel lane in each direction. FDOT's lane repurposing process provides local and regional agencies the opportunity to repurpose parts of state roadways where appropriate. These lanes can therefore be repurposed to improve safety by slowing vehicular traffic and providing additional facilities and a safer environment for pedestrians, bicyclists, and at-risk populations. A lane repurposing can provide the space within existing right-of-way for improved pedestrian and bicycle facilities and speed management measures that include landscaping and other features. An analysis of traffic volumes shows that a lane repurposing is feasible within the focus area. The following slides include an example of a lane repurposing implemented on a corridor that had characteristics similar to those within this focus area. This is an example from FDOT's 2020 Lane Repurposing Guidebook, depicting a segment of State Road 810 in Deerfield Beach. Note that the initial condition shown here is similar to the focus area on Nova Road, with three travel lanes in each direction, a center two-way turn lane, and sidewalks immediately adjacent to the roadway. After the lane repurposing, the parts of the roadway that were previously used for the outside travel lanes were repurposed to provide new bike lanes, a sidewalk separated from the roadway, and landscaping. This example is an effective illustration of how solutions are developed to address specific project needs as part of lane repurposing. This same approach is the basis for the two proposed alternatives that will now be described. These images illustrate how a lane repurposing is proposed for Nova Road within the focus area. On the left is an illustration of the existing typical section, with three travel lanes in each direction, a center two-way turn lane, and sidewalks immediately adjacent to the roadway. In the middle is an illustration of Alternative 1, proposing a landscape median and the outside lanes repurposed to include a widened 8-foot sidewalk and 8-foot landscape buffer. On the right is an illustration of Alternative 2, proposing a landscaped median and the outside lanes repurposed to provide a separated bicycle lane. Alternative 1 and Alternative 2 will now be described in more detail. Proposed improvements in Alternative 1 repurpose the outside lanes to include an 8-foot sidewalk and an 8-foot landscape buffer on both sides of Nova Road. A landscaped median is also included in the center of the road. These improvements help to address safety through speed management and improved bicycle and pedestrian facilities. This is a closer view of a representative area within the corridor for Alternative 1. Incorporating these improvements would change the corridor within the focus area by reducing the number of travel lanes from 6 to 4, replacing the center turn lane with a landscaped median that includes median openings and turn lanes at specific locations, widening the sidewalks to eight feet on each side, and adding landscape buffers to separate the sidewalks from the roadway. It also includes a pedestrian hybrid beacon, 
which is an overhead traffic device designed to help pedestrians safely cross the road. This is proposed near the intersection of Nova Road and North Old Kings Road. All of the improvements proposed in Alternative 1 would be implemented within the existing right-of-way. Alternative 2 also repurposes the outside lanes to provide separation between the roadway and add bicycle lanes to provide a safer, more comfortable environment for bicyclists. Similar to Alternative 1, there's a landscaped median in this alternative to help manage speeds and enhance safety. While Alternative 2 provides a separated bicycle lane, there's not sufficient space to widen the sidewalk or include significant landscaping or streetscaping elements adjacent to the sidewalk as in Alternative 1. This is a closer view of a representative area within the corridor for Alternative 2. Incorporating these improvements would change the corridor within the focus area by reducing the number of travel lanes from 6 to 4, replacing the center turn lane with a landscaped median that includes median openings and turn lanes at specific locations, adding bike lanes on each side with a separator between the bike lanes and roadway, and a proposed pedestrian hybrid beacon near the intersection of Nova Road and North Old Kings Road, the same as what was described in Alternative 1. All of the improvements proposed in Alternative 2 would be implemented within the existing right-of-way. These renderings present a view facing north on Nova Road. This location is just north of the intersection with Granada Boulevard. Alternative 1 is on the top and Alternative 2 is on the bottom. In Alternative 1, note the wider sidewalk and the enhanced landscape buffer to separate the road from the sidewalk. This landscape buffer is wide enough to allow trees, rain gardens, and streetscaping elements in the space between the curb and the sidewalk. These serve as key speed management features, while also providing a more comfortable environment for bicyclists and pedestrians using the sidewalk. In Alternative 2, note the separated bicycle lane using the space repurposed from the existing outside travel lane. This bicycle lane would be utilized exclusively by bicyclists and implements a separator between the vehicular traffic. There are a variety of options for the bicycle lane separator, which include concrete separators, landscape planters, zicla sippers, or other unique applications like wave delineators. These additional renderings depict proposed improvements from a view looking south. This location is just north of the intersection with North Old Kings Road and the entrance to the Trails Shopping Center. Note the differences between the two alternatives and how the outside lanes are repurposed. Alternative 1 incorporates the wider sidewalk and landscape buffer, while Alternative 2 provides the bicycle lane that is separated from the road. A wide landscape median replaces the center two-way turn lane in both alternatives. Note the pedestrian hybrid beacon, or PHB, that provides a safe crossing for pedestrians and bicyclists at this critical location. These additional renderings show the proposed alternatives looking south along Nova Road, at the intersection with Wilmette Avenue. The proposed improvements are intended to increase safety by reducing vehicle speeds and improving conditions and facilities for pedestrians and cyclists. Note that under Alternative 2, the separated bicycle lane would transition onto the sidewalk in advance of the intersection with Wilmot Avenue. A separate project would be required to extend the bicycle network beyond the focus area. This chart provides a simple comparison of Alternative 1 and Alternative 2. There are differences between the two alternatives. However, both provide similar benefits to meet the project's goals of safety, speed management, and improved bicycle and pedestrian mobility. Both alternatives repurpose existing travel lanes in each direction to slow traffic and provide for improved pedestrian and bicycle facilities and speed management measures that include landscaping and other features. A proposed pedestrian hybrid beacon crossing is also included in both alternatives. The primary difference between the two alternatives is how travel lanes have been repurposed. Alternative 1 
allocates space to a wider sidewalk and landscape buffer, while Alternative 2 utilizes this space for a separated bicycle lane. There are a variety of innovative treatments to be considered as part of the proposed improvements on Nova Road. These treatments include various trees and ground cover that improve the aesthetics of the corridor and provide shade to improve pedestrian comfort while supporting speed management solutions. The specific treatments that are ultimately implemented will be determined during the design phase. Other treatments include enhanced lighting to improve safety for all roadway users and landscape planters. These types of treatments could be implemented in either of the alternatives. Bioswales and rain garden filtration features are innovative options that can be implemented within a lane repurposing to provide stormwater treatment benefits. These features can be considered in the median area and in the landscape buffer areas in both alternatives. Some features address the need to improve pedestrian safety and comfort, such as in-pavement lighting, high-emphasis pedestrian crosswalk lighting, and artistic elements. These, like other noted treatments, will be evaluated more specifically during the project design phase. Shown here is the general schedule for this coalition and the subsequent maintenance project that will incorporate the recommended alternative. The input and feedback provided at this evening's community event and throughout the study process will be used to develop and select the recommended alternative. The design of the recommended improvements is scheduled to begin in 2024, with construction scheduled to begin in 2026. Both design and construction of the maintenance project are funded. There are a variety of ways to provide the project team with your feedback and to stay connected with future updates regarding the potential improvements to Nova Road. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the community event record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by July 21, 2023, 10 days after the community event, will become part of the project's community event record. All questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with the project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the community event record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff or place in the comment box. You may also contact the project manager, Erica Schellenberger, directly by email at erika.shellenberger at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5378 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 450644-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Materials from the community event are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this community event and providing your input on this project. We encourage you to submit your comments or questions regarding the proposed improvements for Nova Road. Contact information, this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the community event are posted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash P-R-O-J-E-C-T forward slash 450-644-1. Have a good evening.
This concludes the presentation. We invite you to view the event materials and exhibits and talk to the project team. The presentation will begin again in a few minutes.